Oh, I hate going to work on rainy days. Seems like every time it rains, something always happens. Somebody gets in a wreck, somebody gets struck by lightning, who knows? But a businessman's gotta do what a businessman's gotta do. Although I never thought working for a production company would be so tough. Hmm, who left me these things? They smell nice. Although, now where did I leave my brown leather jacket? I'll look in my closet once again. Nope, just found my suit coats, that's it. There it is, on my bedpost. When did I leave it here? I must have been on a pain medication or something last night. So I really don't remember leaving it here. I usually always hang it up on my, in my closet. Hey, have you heard from Tom? No, I haven't. He hasn't called or emailed or anything. Hey, I usually get a text too, man. I haven't heard anything from him. Hey, hey, listen. We interrupt this programming for a horrible situation that happened just moments ago right off of Highway 321. A young man who is known as Tom Rugen has had a fatal accident from a vehicle that failed to stop at an intersection and ran into his He's side, dead? smashing his what? car and leaving him on his way to heaven. Is that real? When help had arrived, it was too late. I can't However, believe it. There is no sign of the vehicle. Man, I can't driver. believe it. Tom, police are on extreme investigation and will catch this criminal as soon as possible. So, Mr. Manning, isn't it? Yes, it is. Have you worked with a production company before? I have done that. You have? What experiences do you have? Like, what programs for editing? Uh, all, all of them. So you've used things like Avid, Final Cut, Vegas? Yes. Etc.? Yes, etc. more than any of the others. <laughs> That was just a figure of speech, of course. Ah, you're a sharp one. And we also, we also make more than just movies here. We also make commercials, documentaries. Have you made any of those before? I've watched several. But have you made any? I yes, that too. Okay. Well, Mr. Manning, I'll be glad to bring you aboard, and enjoy your new job. Thank you, sir. Wait! You didn't even tell me your name! They must be working on the power lines or something. It's a good thing I have battery backup. But what was that weird voice? There's something really fishy about all this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
I didn't type this on paper. Why is this happening? Who's doing this? And who is Tom Rogan? Hello, and welcome to the Mark Willington Show. I am your host, Mark Willington. Today, we have a special guest with us who is owner of, pro of a production company but prefers to really keep his name anonymous. So, how long have you had this production company? Uh, about five years now. Five years. Didn't you recently hire somebody there? Oh, yeah. His name was Bert Manning. I didn't tell him anything about the place. Well, what about it? Is there some kind of secret or something? Yeah. That place is filled with paranormal activity. Paranormal activity, huh? Why didn't you tell the guy? Well, if I would have told him, he probably wouldn't have taken the job. You're right, he wouldn't. But you gotta tell people about things like this. If you don't, then you shouldn't have the place at all because you'll probably go out of business someday if you keep your secrets like this because one day someone will find out that inbred tricked me into a job with paranormal activity I have to go warn everybody You are, but ever since you hired me at this production company, my life has been cursed! Here, maybe this will ring a bell. T -t -t Tom Rogan? You're Tom Rogan? How about you give me back the life that you caused me? You're the one I ran into and killed! And flickered the lights? Deleted your journal and haunted this place? Correct answer? Yes. Ghost, aren't you? Look, if I weren't a ghost, could I do this? Please, just leave me alone. I'll leave you alone on one condition. You have to go confess to the whole town what you did about the hit and run and spend your time in prison. Otherwise, 